hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video how are you doing i hope you guys are okay so my people there's this an alleged information we had uh concerning toby and uh, dr elizabeth according to the information they said toby break down in tears as in she is crying you know she's always crying she be cry cry baby <laughs> Yes, so anytime Toby wants to get anything from the king or she thinks uh, things are not moving in her favor in that palace, the next thing you will hear is that uh, Toby is crying up and down. And that is why they say Mariam is always calling her cry cry. That you think you can get everything you want uh, by crying and you think you are still a baby, a woman that have about three children. <laughs> they say uh, Mariam is always blasting uh, Toby anytime she is crying like this. But this time around, according to why they say she cried, uh, we do know that uh, Dr. Elizabeth is the one that uh, delegating duties to everyone in the palace. As a matter of fact, they said the king have given Dr. Elizabeth a veto power to be in charge of all the women and everything in that palace. So right now, uh, Dr. Elizabeth is calling the shots. And last time we heard that Aaron K was complaining that when there is an event international or in a a place where a lot of things will come out from it. Uh, Dr. Elizabeth will delegate Temi Tokba to go and represent the king. But if it is happening in, inside the Ile Ife, in the village, where they will gain nothing, Dr. Elizabeth will delegate Ronke and Mariam to go and represent the king. And they are not happy about it at all. And to think that uh, all of them, uh, both Ronke, who is always uh, uh, who always like to take uh, charge of everything, and Mariam, they are there and uh, Dr. Elizabeth is delegating duty to them. It's something that they don't like at all. So from what we are hearing, they said uh, Toby have been complaining pain every now and then, miscarriages every now and then, you know. And uh, she have said it to Dr. Elizabeth hearing for quite a long time that she was disturbed. And she told the king that, I mean, Dr. Elizabeth told the king that, look, oh, we need to do something about this uh, Toby uh, complaining about pain, about miscarriage, about this, this and that. They said Toby is being so worried this time around. Then, when Toby now complained this, give this complaint to Dr. Elizabeth, Dr. Elizabeth now told the king. And the reason she told the king was for the king to take action or do something about it. Then what we heard is that... Uh, uh, after Dr. Elizabeth told the king about what Toby is complaining, the king now decided to call his personal physician to come and take care of uh, Toby so that all this complaint will stop, especially the uh, miscarriage issue. So, but to their greatest surprise, the day they book an appointment for that physician to come, Toby, did not, uh, Toby was not around. They said Toby left the palace for four days. She did not return back. You know, that person have to come and wait and wait and wait. Yet, uh, Toby did not come back. Toby did not call anyone to say, look, oh, sorry to disappoint you. Something came up and all of that. So when uh, she returned back from wherever she went to, they said Dr. Elizabeth saw her coming back and asked her, where did you go? How can you disappoint us this way? How can you, wh why did you want to push shame on us? You told us that you are not well. We booked an appointment. For the personal physician to come and see you and you left without letting everyone know it's obvious that you are pretending that you are sick when you are not that you are a pretender that is what they said uh, dr elizabeth told toby and they said toby pick it up toby picked a fight how can you call me a pretender that you are you are the pretender here and they said the dr elizabeth called her that in front of the king that is the the one as on why it annoyed her that uh, badly so uh toby was mad at uh dr elizabeth for calling her a pretender before the king and the king said of course you are a pretender because if you are truly sick you should have voted to meet with the physician it's only when you are not sick and you are pretending to be sick that you will book an appointment for you and you will leave the palace without letting anyone know your whereabouts. They said, uh, Toby now 
change it for both the king and uh, Dr. Elizabeth, telling them that uh, they don't know how he, she feels, that they don't care about her, that all they care is about themselves. Right now, that uh, the only thing that the king, the only thing that matters to the king is for Dr. Elizabeth to stay back in the palace and uh, she she will go leave the palace, she will go outside the palace. They say the main reason why Toby is so annoyed with the whole situation is not even about that physician of a thing, but with the fact that uh, the king have concluded that Dr. Elizabeth will be in the palace with, uh, with Naomi, that Toby did not like that fact at all. And they said he was, she told the king that, look, I did not marry you to go outside and stay. Why some other women who married you the same way I married you will be in the palace with you? That that is not going to... Eh? Then a lot of people started asking Toby, if you know that you will not leave the palace, why did you accept that the king should buy a house for you? Because from what we heard, they said the king had bought a house for Toby, you know, Toby and Temitokbe. And they have accepted the house. Someone like Temitokbe, I heard, allegedly, have packed into her own house, you know. But the, Dr. Elizabeth is not happy with uh, Toby because Toby is trying to spoil things for her. Spoiling things for her, I mean, is she has worked so hard to see that uh, all this wife leave the palace. Then she will stay with Queen Naomi all alone and enjoy the husband, you know. So if Toby insisted that she's not going now, it will affect them because if worse come to worse, the king might decide that okay, uh, since it is it has gotten to this extent, then every one of you should leave the palace, and that is why uh, uh, Doctor Elizabeth is not happy about Toby's reaction one bit because if she insisted on that. It might lead to all of them leaving the palace for Queen Naomi to return back to the palace. Because if Toby insisted that she would be in that palace, the king might decide that all of them should leave. Because if they did not leave, Queen Naomi will not return. And Dr. Elizabeth wants Queen Naomi to return back, you know. So, uh, they said that, that that was why she called Toby a pretender. That she's pretending that she's having problems every time. But a lot of people are saying that a lot of things might be bothering Toby. Uh, some said she's pregnant Why others as others said she brought her children inside the palace maybe she's facing a mother care problem and all of that that maybe one of her children might have been giving her hard times or anything there are many things that can bother people and they might not want to relate it with others you know but if i thought toby uh, is sick and uh, they booked an appointment for her and she disappointed them. She ought to say, okay, I'm sorry, something came up and that was why I couldn't make it. And she's supposed to call to tell them that, look, oh, this is what happened. At least next time if she complained, that somebody will listen to her. I don't know what to think, but to me, that's what I think. If she, truly she's not pretending to be sick when she is not, she should have told uh, either the king or even Dr. Elizabeth that, look, Something came up. I have to attend to it. So, guys, I don't know what you think. Whatever you think, please share with us on the comment section, okay? Don't forget that they are all alleged information because I do not live in the palace. Always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe. If you are not subscribed, thank you so much. Bye for now. Love you guys.